Guys, I can't even believe what I just found. This is my first time back out after finding that saddle shield last week. I'm at a house site, right at the base of the house. I just found another one. Unbelievable. That is crazy. It's a little different. It only has one thing in the middle. The back of the other one has two pieces, one down here and one up there. Sweet. That's crazy. Two in a row. These things are pretty rare, too. So. Alright, we'll be back. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm psyched. I almost left this house site because I wasn't finding nothing. And I don't think I'm the one that scratched that. But uh, is it 1801 two reals? Awesome. That is cool. Wicked happy to have that. That's awesome. Look how thin it is. Never found this type of two reals, so that is sweet. All right, I'm gonna get back at it. See if there's anything else. All right, guys, got her home, and she's a beaut. Of course, it's very worn and uh, scratched and whatever, but I don't care. She's still beautiful to me. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very old silver. Big silver. Extremely happy to have it. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay guys, the camera doesn't really show how dark it is, but it's getting really dark. I was headed to the car, my car is right there, and uh, I was about to put my stuff in, I was like, heck, I'm just going to try this front piece real quick before I leave. I haven't found anything, I haven't found anything for three hours out here. Came back to the place where I got the two coppers during the weekend, <laughs> and I got this faint, faint signal, and I know you can't see that. But I thought it was just going to be junk, and it's a large scent. Are you freaking kidding me? Saved by the buzzer. I found nothing but junk, literally, for three hours. Can't believe I got that at the last second. Unreal. All right, I'll show you. Uh, show you when it's cleaned up. All right, guys. Here's that large scent, all cleaned up. Well, I say cleaned up. Uh, I didn't do too much to it. Just kind of kind of came out this way. Um, 1825, and uh, it's not. It's really worn, but it's not in bad shape as far as co corrosion goes. So that's the one you saw, and this is the one you didn't see. Immediately after, about well, about five minutes later, I found this one, but it was just too dark to film. It was getting dark enough with that first one, but look at this one. This is a beaut. 1827 and this one's in really nice shape you can see uh, obviously there's uh, crud up on the top but I'll get that off cool beautiful large scent all right that's it Right out here with Chris today, that same spot that we were getting 
the uh, largies and stuff. And uh, he just came up with these really two nice finds. One's a button. You can see there's a guy doing something on there. He might be killing something, or I don't know. He's a hunter, or what he is. Cool though. And then I don't know if this is a French coin or whatever. This is the size of a half cent and a farthing. But it looks like it's got a king on it with a crown. Hold on a second. It's tough to see. It's getting dark out, but pretty cool. It says like D F R or F something. I don't know. I think it's French. We'll see. Can't see much on the back, but anyway, pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll get uh, get it figured out and let you know what they are. I got two yappers in the background there. But awesome. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, if you remember from uh, my video Copper Mania, the first one, I found an unidentified uh, copper. Didn't know what it was. Turns out it's a drape bus, I tumbled it. And if you see it down on the bottom, there's a 1-7. The other two numbers are 9-8, I know it's hard to see. But uh, this is uh, special because this is my first US Mint coin uh, before 1800, so... I've obviously found uh, state coppers and colonial coins and stuff, but I've never found a 1700s U.S. Mint coin until now. So that's cool. Really happy to, to have that, finally. Took me a while, but there it is. So uh, thanks everybody for watching.